making the definition of selfishness, I'm thinking we really need to define self-care because this is a term that's very much out there. And I actually, I think there's a couple different kinds of self-care. I think you have your, what are activities that are restorative for you, calming and soothing. And so people think of, you know, going for the long walks and, and that kind of a thing. But there's also the restorative soulful piece to me, which is doing activities that bring you joy, being with people who bring you joy. So it's a like an emotional happy joy recharge versus the relaxation piece. And I think both are self-care. So like the definition of selfishness, let's make sure we have common language about what we're talking about. Do you guys have any different definitions of self-care besides those two? It could be spiritual as well. I, you said the soulful piece, which are things that are joyful and, and active. So I think of things that bring people joy. Uh, it could be gardening. It could be playing badminton or um, even I'm thinking meeting friends for uh, tea or uh, talking, you know, just talking and communication or sharing a meal. Um, so, um, but I, I get curious about the spiritual piece. Um, so is, you know, so how does somebody get in touch with that authentic self? So if we're talking about um, that we're, we're born into the world with authenticity and then through wounding a false self's created, um, and then we're acting and reacting off of that. How do we get back to, you know, who am I? Who am I really? Who am I authentically? And so I think that that's, uh, does that mean um, meditation? Does that mean reading some sort of inspirational or spiritual material? Um, is that journaling? Okay. Is that um, just, uh, just, just staring at the clouds and watching the clouds go by? As, as I'm thinking about this topic, what, what comes to mind for me is this distinction doesn't matter if it's just me. If 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 I'm just trying to manage my own my own self care, whether that's because I'm in recovery, whether that's because I'm overcoming depression or managing anxiety, uh, or or whether it is uh, me moving on independently in a relation from from a relationship. If it's just me, whatever it is I'm doing to take care of myself, to feel grounded, whether that is things that I add into my life or things that I subtract from my life, but so that I can, I can manage, I can function, I can be present, I can sort of, you know, um, be my best self at that moment, doesn't really matter whether it's coming from a place of being selfish or whether it's coming from a place of pure self-care, where I think this question really gets um, where, where it comes to the forefront is when I'm in relationship with other people and when the choices that I'm making around my self-care impact some other, uh, other people, whether that's because I'm asking them to do things with me or I'm choosing not to participate in activities with them, or I'm weighting what I want to do more heavily than what they're requesting of me. And so yeah. for, and, and so for me, when I, when I think about that, the, the, it's a, it's a tricky balance of, okay, like, you know, from like, from a work perspective, um, I know that there's a part of me that just wants to work with everybody who contacts me and says, I'd like to come in. I need some help come into my office. I also know that when I have my schedule over full, that after two or three weeks, I'm not functioning well. I'm not as empathetic as I, I could be. And, and the work that I'm doing with my clients isn't the quality that I expect it to be. And so is it selfish of me to tell clients, no, I, I, I technically have space in my schedule, but I'm not gonna take, take a new client on. I'm not gonna work with you. Or is it self-care? And you know, some, some people might feel like it's selfish because they really wanna work with me and I'm not giving them what they want. I might look at that and say, it's really self-care because I'm not going to be doing good work if I overstretch myself, even though I'm not giving you what you're requesting. So mm -hmm. let me, let me jump in here. Cause what yeah. I hear you talking about is 
it's like another type of self-care or another, oh. another side, another um, piece of it. And you were talking about setting the boundaries. Mm -hmm. Setting boundaries for myself is one way I keep myself in balance. And that is part of my self-care routine or my self-care needs so that I'm balanced in all areas of my life. Oh, 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 oh